Crimes and welcome to this week's vlog. As you'll have seen by the title of this video, this week's video is a little bit exciting because we have a new addition to the Adele Equine family. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I have been dropping hints. Actually, I haven't actually been dropping hints. I've basically just been asking you all what you think we are adding to our collection. A lot of you have guessed that we may be getting a Shetland pony. A few of you guessed that we were going to be getting some alpacas, but no one has actually guessed right. If you have followed me for a little while, then you will remember me saying that we sold our trailer and we were waiting to get transport. If you don't know where I'm going with this, then I'd be a little bit concerned. Bought Doris back in November, October, November last year, and we have been waiting for Doris to be ready for us to collect. And on Wednesday, that day finally came. So I will now go and introduce you all to Doris, who I'm actually staring at right now. This is Doris. It's very windy, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me. Doris is a seven and a half ton Kevin Parker horse box. I am going to show you inside, obviously, but this is what she looks like on the outside. She's a little bit shabby and she needs a bit of cleaning up, which we will be doing. On this side of Doris, her paintwork is a lot worse. And it's basically, it's not even the paint, it's the, like, the varnish that she's coated in. So we're going to address that at some point. This is the back of her, so it's a back ramp. You can fit three horses in there but to be honest we'd only probably put two in she is a kevin park horse box and they actually make the uh, police horse boxes the mounted police so you have now met doris and i can finally talk about her i've wanted a horse box ever since i was little i always remember when i would loan ponies or help out at stables i would always see people with their own horses and their own horse boxes and they'd go off to competitions and events and i'd be so jealous i literally think having a horse and then having a horse box is every horsey girl's dream so i've been really really lucky for this to come true my family has been amazing about Doris and all of our friends as well actually they were all so so excited everyone has been dead excited to meet her and dead excited to do some DIY and decorating on her all of our friends and family are dead excited to get stuck in and we're just really excited to have nice days out and make memories in Doris so as I said I am going to show you the inside of Doris and as I also said she is a little bit shabby she's not too shabby to be fair she's in really good nick inside there's just a few alterations we want to make we just need to do a bit of cleaning a bit of repainting some touch-ups here and there which i'll show you we know where she's come from we know that she has been looked after we know that she's mechanically sound and now she just needs a little bit of tlc and some good memories to be made with her so let's go and have a look inside doris so doris is made up of three sections this is the cab obviously where we drive the living and then where and friends will go and this is what she looks like inside so this is the living area as it stands at the moment as i said she's a little bit shabby but she's not actually that bad she literally needs a few minor things doing obviously we're going to fix this we'll get rid of that foam mattress and put in a proper mattress and bedding we're also going to get rid of this like green color we are going to keep this green however because it is actually quite neat we also have storage under here but it has got things like batteries and stuff in as well so i'm not sure how much of that we will be able to use for cody's stuff this is pretty obvious this is a spare tire we are gonna to have to try and come up with somewhere in, in a, some kind of innovative way to put that somewhere up here is the Luton. I've actually not been up here yet and inspected, but this is basically where our bed will go so we can sleep in the horse box for camps and stuff like that. It has come with this bit of foam, but we are going to get a new mattress so that it is nice and comfy for us. And Mum has also got some bedding that we're going to be using as well. And then this area is really exciting because this is our little kitchen. So as you can see, we've got a few cupboards and mum has already been collecting things to put in the cupboards. So stuff like plastic plates, plastic cups. We've also got a mini fridge. It's big enough to pop in a few cans of pop and a beer if my boyfriend is coming with us. 
and it's got one of these little things that basically stops it from opening without it being off so if this is down it can't the door can't open which is great for obviously when we're traveling um stops that swinging open this is our cute little hob and the sink which has been briefly used and i'm just watching cody in the field cause havoc um but as i was saying we have used this really briefly because all of our friends are really excited and really enjoying coming in. We've literally had about 20 people in here already that have come in to look at it. And mum and some of the girls had a little bit of cherry brandy last night. It looks like they've had a great time and left me some in the sink to clean up. We're gonna give all our all of our cupboards a really good clean out. Obviously through here is the cab. This is where mum will sit because mum is designated driver and this is where I shall sit and the dogs will probably go in the middle here or on the back seat so that they can look through and see where we're going to. Please don't ask me any questions about any of this because I have no idea. All I know is it is a seven and a half ton horse box and it is purple. However I do know that this little thing over here is really exciting because this means that i can watch cody while she is in the back and i'll show you that in a minute I've got a little mirror here but i am hoping for a full length mirror obviously i'll still keep that anyway so this is where you come in and then this door that is directly opposite is the toilet that we knew the previous owners and i know that they previously used this as a tap room and they just basically stored their saddles and bridles in and didn't really use it as a toilet which is probably what we will mostly do as well. So the toilet is down here, and then they obviously had their bridles and stuff up here. They also used to have um, the saddle racks here, from what I can remember, um, and just mainly use it as a tack room. I think I am gonna keep these hooks up just for like general stuff, but I might put some kind of like shelving up here so that you can still sit on the toilet and use it, but just so that there's more storage, because I feel like it's a bit of a wasted space. It's quite quite big i don't know if you can see how big it is on the video but i feel like you could have in some kind of shelving and keep like i don't know grooming products or bandages and stuff like that up there and then still be able to use the toilet down here we don't know entirely what we're going to be doing with that yet but that's the toilet slash old tack room and then if i shut this and come through this door so this is where you come on the toilet is there and then this door takes you straight through to where Cody will be, where the horses will be. So as I was saying, you can fit three horses in there, but to be honest, we would probably only put two in. Cody is obviously very big. So if you were to put three in, you would have one here, one in the middle, and then one at the far end. And these, like the areas of these can be adjusted. So you can adjust them with these. So you can slide them along the holes to make this, like the area, smaller and it's the same for that partition as well so all three areas don't have to be equal you can move them to fit the size of the horses but as i said we would probably only have two horses in there this is the exciting thing that i mentioned before when i showed you in the front of the cab that little tv screen and said that you could see cody in the back this is how this is a little camera that obviously shows up on that tv screen and then you can see the horses whilst you're traveling how cool is that like literally like one of my favourite things about the box is that I can see Cody while she's travelling. I always said when we had the trailer that I'd want a camera in the back so I could see what was going on. And now we have one. We are going to give some TLC to the back as well. So obviously you can see it needs paintwork redoing. We're going to put some like foam bits on here as well so that it is nice and comfy against the horses. It is a little bit rusted in places but nothing that is dangerous so we are going to give a little bit of TLC to all this as well. The floor is rubber matting and underneath it is steel. Something we made sure that we had, we didn't want a wooden floor just in case it rotted and we just felt that a steel floor would be better for us. So it's a steel floor under here and then the rubber matting for the horses and we're going to give it all a good clean probably gonna use a power washer and just give it a general tidy up really. So there's three windows for each horse on this side and then two back windows as well. So it feels nice and airy for them. We've got tie rings for each horse and then also these tie rings as well for hay nets, which is really good. Also need a new bit of perspex for this window here. So my hand can go all the way through. There's no window there, but there are windows in those ones. So the horses come in through the back ramp. So this, bit 
here is obviously the ramp which goes down i can't show you because there's only one of me and we need two people to get it down and then these are two separate they join together but they are separate they're almost like doors so they go outwards like this and then outwards like that so that the ramp has two, these two white doors either side of it. If you've not seen a wall spots like this before, then that will sound really confusing, but trust me, it makes more sense when you see it. I will show you at some point. If I don't show you in this video, then I will definitely show you on our first outing, how they open out and then how they close up again and how the horses come in. So that's pretty much it for the tour of Doris. We've literally just got her, so I really don't know much about her and we're looking forward to doing that and getting used to her and finding all the little compartments and finding how everything works so i am going to share all of that with you as we go along and kind of keep like a video journal so like every time we do something with doris or like we renovate a section of her or clean up a section of her i'll film it and then anything that we like discover or like any compartments that we find and we work out what they're for then i'll show you all as well so make sure to subscribe and then you will get updates doris updates as we go along if you do have any questions about the more mechanical side of doris then please leave me a comment and i will ask my mum and she will definitely tell me just so chuffed that she is finally here i was so 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 grateful to my family for making this happen because as i said i've literally dreamed of having a horse box since i was little and here i am sat in my horse box i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i hope you've enjoyed having a nosy around doris and i hope you're as excited as i am to make some memories in doris and also give her a makeover so if you are excited for that then make sure to keep an eye on my channel for more horse box makeover videos. If you did enjoy watching this week's video, then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly videos. We post every Sunday at 6 p.m. Also feel free to follow us over on Instagram. Our name is Adele Equine and I'll pop the link to that directly in the bio down below. Thanks for watching this week's video, Equines. I hope that you've enjoyed it and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.